You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Lust Shard. So uh, y'all are seeing another episode today because I did not have time to make a fourth video. So I because uh, we're going to see some redwood trees. We're going to like a redwood park in California. So. And I just got done, and yesterday I just got done, like, working, like, a long, almost a nine-hour shift. And, uh, <clears throat> came home, didn't have enough time to make four videos, so here we are. I'm beginning another episode of Lust Shards, and judging by how many views these Lust Shards videos are getting, um, you guys love this. So, anyway, all right, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm, Chan, you are up. Let's go, and you're getting, uh, Nary on edibles, so... Uh, it's going to be extra fun, I suppose. All right. <clears throat> How do I wake him up? Kiss him on the cheek. Oh, whoa. Kiss him. What? Come on. A smooch on the cheek. Do it. <clears throat> Sleeping beauty style. He won't know. That is consent? I don't think so. It's obvious he likes you, or at least kind of likes you. He won't mind, even if you're caught. I can feel my body getting hot as I look at the peaceful wolf. You're getting excited too, it seems. It's because of that draw, that damn side effect of yours. Hey, you can't blame everything that makes you horny on me. It's hard to resist the temptation, so I give in to the demon's words. Oh, don't be so dramatic. I lean down, taking a second to steal my nerves. Watching his face, ooh, excuse me, his snout directed straight at me. His fur smooth. It's short, but looks so soft. Let's not screw this up. I get closer to his cheek. Close my eyes and plant the most gentle kiss with the tip of my maw. His nose twitched. My heart nearly jumped out of my chest. As I get back to as I get back as I get back to my straight as an uncooked spaghetti noodle position, I can see his eyes slowly opening. The prophesized magic twig kiss. Did my kiss actually wake him up? It's fine. Let's not panic. I'll just change the subject fast before he brings it up. If he did really feel it. Dallin, I think we have a problem. Now he is fully awake. He raises his head and does a big stretch and you <laughs> might be on oh, Jesus. Although he smiled the whole day yesterday, I never realized just how big and sharp those teeth are. Oh, mm, good mo Oh, uh, good morning, Travis. Did you say problems? Is it bigger problem than this back pain? Remind me to never fall asleep at my desk. And I'm hungry again. I think it might be a little bigger than that. Sounds important. He got it all serious instantly. Well, you remember how you said your members don't like it when someone someone not from the Shard enters the headquarters? Yes, of course. How could I forget? I am literally the leader of this Shard. Is this some kind of test? Why would you bring it up? Oh. Right. Got it now? Got it. I must be here already, huh? A little slow, but he has a spirit. Yep. I overslept. Okay, let me think. What would what would happen if I just walked out? Best case scenario, you'll be given the cold shoulder by everyone in the shard after being violently kicked out. I guess I don't want to know the worst. You don't. Oh, I know. He takes a, he takes out his phone and speaks out a command. Call Aiden. Calling Aiden. Can Aiden get me out of here somehow? Maybe not, but Tate can. Oh, I forgot. Teleportation. Yes, unfortunately, he has no phone. Let's hope Aiden can... Oh, hi. Uh, good morning, Aiden. How have you slept? Get to the point. Uh, fair. Listen, Travis spent the night here with me and... Already? Huh. I really thought I'd be the first to... Oh, never mind. What were we? What were you saying? He's in my office right now, and I need to get one. I get it. I need a way to get him out without the other members seeing him. Oh, that bullshit! I get it. You and your stupid rules. Thank God. I, I thought you two were fucking. You're on speaker. Fucking with me right now. That's what I meant. Obviously. Let me finish my thoughts next time. Hey, Travis. Hey, Aiden. What do you want? To, what do you want me to do anyway? Can you take? Can you get Tate for us so we can teleport him out? Why do you always assume I know where that idiot is? I'm not saying you always know, but you do know now. Aiden, 
He said he'd be in the library. Wants to see how many sounds he can make with his mouth until the new librarian quits. Great. That's not too far from here. Can you get him and teleport him into my office, please? One second, y'all. Drink some water. That's not too far from here. Can you get him to teleport into my office, please? I don't know. I'm kind of busy. I approach the phone. Aiden, please. I don't want to be violently kicked out. Uh, fine. Be there in a minute. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, yeah. Leak. Nice phone, by the way. Thank you. It's the newest model, so I was told. Or at least the newest from last year. I'm not a tech fan myself, but it was a gift from a friend. Wow, what a friend. This movie cost a fortune. Sorry, y'all. I suppose. It does help that a lot in my daily activities. You saw how I didn't even have to type Aiden's number in. I just told it to call him. Yeah, modern technology likes to interact with us as little as possible. Is that a sign of concern, perhaps? Nah, no way. It's not like it's alive or something. You're right, what am I saying? <laughs> we both giggle while looking at our phones, then the PC on the desk. Smile, smile slowly fading into deep thought. So, when do you think Tate will... So when do you think Tate will... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I was going to get back. Sorry. Let's do it over here. Huh. Teleportation! Ah! So, Down was not very super, was not very surprised by their sudden appearance. However, he did start wagging his tail a second later. I hear this is, there is a damsel in distress around here. Hey, guys, you, you made it. Tate throws his body at me. He's not that heavy, but with my already shaky legs, it was too much and I ended up falling on my butt. The cat didn't seem to mind where my butt was. He was just purring and hugging. Aiden scoffs. Yeah, we're here. Now, come on. Teleport us out and let's forget about this whole ordeal. Seriously, why would you spend the night here, Travis? Did you forget about their stupid rules? I... Actually, it's your fault, Mr. Rule Man. You could recite the whole rule book in your sleep, but you can't remember to get him out before dawn. I just didn't want him to go out that early. Talon makes the sweetest puppy eyes I, can, I can't help but melt right there. Aiden sighs and pulls Tate away from me like a foxtail seed. At least his claws on my fur sure felt like that. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Fine, I'll get us out. But taking someone with me takes a lot of my magic, so you're all in my debt. It's so If it's so hard, why did you bring Aiden with you? He insisted. For that exact same reason. I doubt you want to be in his debt. So I'm here to propose that I make us invisible and we get out of here quietly. Hey! You didn't tell me you were planning on betraying me like that. Travis, please don't fire me. I promise my demands won't be too high. Teleportation or invisibility? Teleportation! Sorry, Aiden. I don't want to risk going through that room, even invisible. Fair. Those weirdos would smell the rule breaking and engulfing the room as soon as you stepped in. Yeet! Cat, take Travis first. As you wish, dear sir, Master Lord Boss. Tate takes my hand. This might make you a little dizzy, so close your eyes. Ah! The next second, a flash of light takes away my vision as I feel the ground shifting. Then I'm outside the Shard's headquarters. Tate catches me before I fall again. Wow! I know, right? Let me get aid too, real quick. I feel this world is a little too dangerous for you. If you don't die before the end of the year, it'll be a miracle. Oh, I'm sorry that I don't get teleported around daily. He reappears with Aiden near him, scaring me, scaring me again. I'm not sure I'll ever get used to this. Nope. I wonder what happens if you go through the room. We wait for Dallin to come out, which takes a while because everyone had obviously had to greet him and try, and try to start a conversation with him. All right, so we are... Okay. We are going to go back. Yep, I want to go back. Can I go back? I should be able to go back. There we go. Invisibility, okay. 
Sorry, Tate. I'd rather not go into debt. Aw, and I was going to have so much fun with you later. Killjoy Tiger. Good choice. Aiden snaps his fingers and both of us disappear. Hey, what about me? Well, you can just teleport out. Sure. Teleport myself out, but not take Travis with me. Let him take the longer route for no reason. Honestly, people. Tate blinks away. What about me? You're their leader. Oh. You have to clear you have to clear the room for me and Travis to get through. On it. Oh, that's pretty. Dallin opens the door, and as soon as he does, everyone in the room comes to greet him. Of course. Now we're going to wait for him to act all friendly with them. With each of them. Indeed, as soon as the members of the as soon as the members hear the door, they sw they swarm around Dallin like flies to honey. The head already hurts. Talon, good morning! Hey, how was your night, sir? Working hardly or hardly working, am I right? <laughs> That's our leader. Uh, Talon, sir, would, would you care for breakfast? Uh, should I recite today's most important news? Step on me, please! Jeez. Brace yourself, Travis. We'll, we'll be here for a while. We need a miracle to get rid of... Oh. Silly an ear-splitting sound can be heard from Dallin's direction. He clapped his hands together so hard it mimicked a thunderstrike. His expression, usually resembling an awkward, polite smile, now serious. Everyone in front of us, everyone in front of us at once gets pushed aside, and a golden tunnel appears from his office to, to the exit door. We can still see the surprised members because of the see-through walls looking at us. Well, at Dallin. Me and Dane should still be visible. Should still be invisible. Shocked, silent faces stood in place. Sorry, everyone. I'm in a bit of a hurry this morning. I'll be back later. Please don't follow or search for me. I'm not a baby. I'll be fine on my own. I look at Aiden and he looks at me, shrugging. Like, how can you two see each other if you're invisible? We follow Dallin out the door. Well, you know what? Fuck it. It's magic. Whatever. You made it! Wow. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. Didn't think you had the guts to shut down your cult followers so easily. Ooh, did Dallin go crazy in there? Man, I wish I could have seen it. Well, I promised to get Travis out, so I did. My friends and colleagues will have to wait. Now that we're finally all together, he still comes from the side of the screen. Now that we're finally all together... All together? Did you make a friend group out of us, already? I thought it was obvious. Yeah... We have great synergy. We might as well be besties. Aiden gives Tate a skeptical look, but glances at me and uh, glances at me and Dallin and sighs. <laughs> oh, sorry, y'all. All right. I guess. So, what were you about to say, Travis? Remember that I said I chose a shard long ago? Of course. Duh. What about it? Well, I chose the Defender Shard. What? What? That's incredible! Suddenly I'm trapped on a bear hug. Or... A wolf hug? A big wolf. A big, muscular, warm, soft, and suffocating wolf hug. A wolf hug that smells like violets and peppermint. You know... If you said that earlier, you could have just walked out of there safely. I didn't think of that. We were fresh out of bed. Brain's still slow. I can see that much. Dallin! <laughs> Love Chelsea. Oh my god! Out of nowhere, Chelsea appears and jumps on Dallin. I was expecting a cute friend to friend reunion, but she completely topples him over. Look kind of painful. But neither seemed to mind it. They were just laughing. Hey, Chelsea. Hello, guys. What are you all up to? We were just sneaking Travis out of Dallin's office room. Because he wasn't a member yet. But he wants to be. He said once like it was a slur. Yeah, he really wants to. Here it is again. Oh my god. Really? Then what are we waiting for? I'll go sign you, I'll sign, go, I'll go sign you up right now. Uh, but of course you can't come in. I'll just let you know when I'm done. If you could just tell me your last name. It's... My family name is... Huh. Interesting. Did not expect this. My family name is... 
Travis Gabagool. Travis Gabagool and Travis... Uh, Travis Gabagool. Yep. Travis G Gabagool. <laughs> Travis Gabagool. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking regret this shit, aren't I? Oh my god. Travis Gabagool. <laughs> Fucking son of an Italian mobster or something. My god. I don't what a guy gotta get to get to get to get to Gabagoo. Ever explain what the fuck Gabagoo was in the Sopranos? Eh. Whatever. Um I'm gonna make a save point right. Here. Yeah. Right there seems about Good. Gabagooly. <laughs> huh. Weird name, but okay. It's not weird. It is weird. It is strange. Ugh. Why do I bother? Still, thank you so much. I'm in your debt. Oh, so you're fine with being in her debt. You boys can go have fun. Bye, Dallin. See you later. And I sure hope I'll see you around too, Travis. One more thing. He whispers something in her ear. She looks at me and giggles. I'm assuming it's my dorm room situation. I'll bring him in. I'll bring it for him at practice. Great, thanks. She opens the door and walks in. Hey, Travis. Yesterday you kind of blew me off. But don't worry. You're forgiven. As long as you come with me on an adventure. Not so fast, kitty. Not so fast, kitty. Kitty cat. Have you detention, or did you do you, you have detention, or did you forget? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.